Hi, I'm Nick Gerard, and when I was a kid, my parents would take me on light rail in San Jose. We would visit the Children's Discovery Museum with a cute little duck on top, you know, and uh, we'd go north to Great America for what was probably my birthday because, damn, that sounds pretty jam-packed with good stuff for a kid. But my favorite place to visit as a kid had to be the Tech Museum. This place had IMAX, which was new at the time, so I could learn about exoplanets and feel like a grain of sand in the cosmos, or like I was swimming in the deep sea. It had Second Life, multiplayer content creation games you can chat in. That This was the first. And it was just downstairs in this awesome building that was like a monument to Silicon Valley. So at least to me, they always had cool exhibits and other crazy contraptions, like this one. But I digress. Let me tell you about their latest Body Worlds exhibit, like a reporter should, because, well, that's what I am, and just wanted to reveal my bias here before we start. The Tech Museum hopes to inspire the next generation of scientists to solve the problems of the future with its exhibits. Visitors to the Tech Museum can now visit a new installation of Body Worlds with its own Silicon Valley twist. The Tech Museum in downtown is showing a human body exhibit. It brings together the real world and virtual world in an anatomy lesson accessible by all ages. Body World uses a special technique to preserve donated bodies. The mission of the organization is to help increase health education by letting us see through the skin and see how our habits affect our bodies. The augmented reality technology in this tech museum exhibit sets it apart from other global Body Worlds exhibitions, which have traditionally relied on just donated bodies to teach. People will be able to see the wonder of the human body and the power of augmented reality to help us understand it in new ways. Looking through a tablet, objects seem to float midair. The way I like to describe it is that you're walking around this gallery and all of a sudden you realize you have a tablet and you hold it up and you can see a four foot eye in front of you and you can see it moving. The Tech Museum collaborated with the Institute for the Future to create the Iris AR system for the exhibit. I think that college students especially will appreciate this new technology and to be able to see the body in a new way using augmented reality. A fitting anatomy lesson for the touchscreen loving people of 2017. We are one of the first museums in the country to experiment with augmented reality, so we're pretty excited about that. So we also have the Anatomage table, which is a 3D virtual dissection table, which allows us to create dissections without using an actual cadaver and view organs true to its color. The touch-enabled surface allows all ages to use Stanford research in a live dissection application. I've always been fascinated with the science behind it and how plastination works. Plastination is the process of how bodies of voluntary cadavers are preserved and fats and water is replaced with plastic. The bodies are called plastinates, and each plastinate takes about 1,500 hours of labor to create. All these people who've actually donated their bodies are doing it for science, for medicine, and for the next generation to actually enjoy. Previous versions of the exhibit have featured the preserved blackened lungs of smokers and the clogged arteries of the sedentary. Heart disease is the nation's top killer. One can't help but feel the macabre energy of the exhibit. My visit was a day after Halloween, so it seemed fitting. The bodies donated are real, but they never rot, and in striking and mildly disturbing lifelike poses, they're posed. Half of the people I show this footage to actually haven't seen Body Worlds before, and their faces upon first glance at these preserved figures is a mix of horror and intrigue. I've always seen our bodies as machines, so I was more intrigued by the subtleties of the exhibit and the bodies. Take this cadaver for example. It appears a little creepy at first, but its form is for teaching. Layers are removed so all organ systems can be seen in the rib cage, and the eyes don't show skin on one side, uh, they show musculature, so no matter how skinny, nobody's just skin or bones. A complex fabric of tensile fibers connects our bones, as seen in this cadaver posed as a batter. A more abstract cadaver removed the entire spinal cord in order to display more organs and nerves. Uh, the augmented reality portion really allows us to create new stories with these bodies, so 
We're going to have this exhibition for 10 years and we're going to be creating new stories all the time, new animations and new things to discover. Uh, so it's, it's pretty exciting. Uh, yeah, the Tech Museum has a lot to offer from robotics to biology to earthquakes. So come on down to check out the Tech Museum and learn a little bit something that maybe you didn't know. The Body Worlds exhibit plans multiple upgrades over the next 10 years.